debunking myths about dermatology. Hi everyone, I am a dermatology resident and if you're new here, welcome. I make videos based on my own life experiences for anyone who's thinking about or currently training in medicine. If this sounds like something you're interested in, press that subscribe button now. Also, make sure to like this video so that I know that you liked it. All right, let's get started on debunking myths about dermatology. The first myth I would like to debunk is that dermatologists only manage skin conditions. We actually are trained to manage hair, skin, and nails, and a lot of us continue taking care of these conditions well into our careers. The second myth I would like to debunk is that dermatologists do not work in the hospital. A lot of hospitals do have partnership with dermatology where they are able to consult dermatologists for cases. Especially for people in, in residency, I take consult um, several times throughout the year and I'm overseen by an attending as well. And it's just based on how big the residency program is and how many attending positions that there are on how often residents go in to see, to do consults and work within the hospital. There are also private practices that have partnerships with hospitals and work in the, the hospital as well. So dermatologists do work in the hospital and do see patients in the hospital. The third myth I would like to debunk is that dermatologists don't take call. So working call is working after hours. So after 5 p.m. or whenever clinic closes and also working on weekends and like I said, whenever clinic closes. This ranges based on the dermatologist, but there are dermatologists who um, in residency for sure we take call. And once again, it's based on how big the program is, how often um, residents take call. So the bigger program you have, the less likely you're going to be taking call. And the attendings who are working in academic settings, they are taking call because they have to oversee the residents. So uh, also, even in private practices, that there are attendings who take call. I do know dermatologists who take call as frequently as every other week, which is mind blowing to me. <laughs> and then I also know dermatologists who don't take any call at all. So there's definitely a range um, of uh, how often dermatologists take call. And uh, um, however, it's not uncommon to find dermatologists to take call. If you've been following my channel, you know what I'm about to debunk next. My fourth myth that I want to debunk is that residency is easy. When I was an intern, all of my co-residents used to say, oh, you're about to go to Derm. It's about to be such a chill life. You're going to have such a chill life. Oh, residency is so easy. And I mean, residency is not the same as internal med year, but I felt like in my intern year, I did not have to bring work home. I did not have to study excessively at home. However, in Derm residency, I had to I still have to study so much. We are being trained to see zebras and a lot of those we don't see every day. So we have to keep studying and we have to know very minute details. And so we have to keep refreshing our mind, refreshing ourselves over and over again. And the amount of work we have to study is a lot. I know a lot of residents when they start dermatology residency, they struggle so much, including myself, especially in the first year because of the amount of work the amount of material we have to learn. So even if we finish clinic around eight in the morning, if, if we have a clinic that's about for around eight to five, nine to five, and only do a few calls, um, a lot of times we're at home studying. So residency is not, derm residency is not easy and I really want to end that myth. <laughs> the next myth I would like to debunk is that we all live the life of Dr. Pimple Popper. <laughs> I have a lot of patients who come in and say, do you watch Dr. Pimple Popper? Is this how you, is this how your practice is? And the, the reality is Dr. Pimple Popper is a, a dermatologist on TV who sees lots of amazing and complicated cases. And she's able to um, make her clinic full of, that, of these complicated cases. The average dermatologist is not seeing cases as complicated as she does. So, uh, so yes, a lot of us are doing excisions, but a lot of times, excisions and procedures, but a lot of times we're not doing it, doing as extensive as what you see on Dr. Pimple Popper. In general, a dermatologist is able to make their clinic to be focused on what they are interested in. So you'll have the doctors who have a clinic from really full of skin checks. There's the doctors who have very 
busy clinics of lots of different kinds of procedures, the dermatologists who have clinics focused on a lot of cosmetics, dermatologists who focus on hair, nails, or have a combined, there's dermatologists whose clinics focus on so many different things that a lot of, a lot of dermatologists are not having clinics that mimic Dr. Pimple Poppers. <laughs> the next myth and last myth that I wanted to debunk is along those lines, and it's just that the, that every dermatologist you meet includes cosmetics in their practice. That's actually not true. When you go on social media, I feel like the biggest association with dermatology is the cosmetics, but uh, there are dermatologists who don't focus on cosmetics. And like I was saying um, earlier, is that dermatologists are able to create their clinic to focus on the on the disorders and the conditions that they are most interested in and therefore there are dermatologists who are not interested in doing cosmetics so that is another myth that a lot of people aren't aware of but yes there's not every dermatologist is practicing cosmetics as well those are the myths that i wanted to debunk if you enjoyed this video press the, the like button if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe now if you've heard any myths about dermatology, let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions, let me know as well. I love chatting with you guys and I look forward to chatting with you at my next video. Bye.